Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today we are going to discuss one of the most ignored topics within the astrological community, and that is degrees. Nobody talks about degrees. In fact, I have also not talked about them much, but now I think it is high time because I have over 900 videos in my channel on astrology and other topics. So those who have at least watched uh, two to three, four hundred of my videos, like many of you, uh, you can very easily understand what I will speak about degrees. This is a bit high level. Uh, this topic is not very simple. Of course, it is simple, but it requires some astrological maturity to understand what does it mean to say that my planet is in a particular degree, this degree, that degree. All right. So let us discuss degrees in short and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your degrees then you can go to my website down in the description section to book a reading with me and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so what are degrees degrees hours minutes so whenever you read a chart you will see the first thing that we check is the degree of the ascendant and the degrees of any house are also important but let's talk about degrees of the planets so degree means to what extent a planet has progressed in a sign all right so there are many avasthas of planets so for example you know there is dipta the avastha there is mudita avastha all right, so if a planet is a bit outside of combustion, it's called deep tamsha. All right, and there are lajit adi avasthas, and I will speak about them in detail later. But one uh, one of the things which people say is when a planet is in the initial degrees, you know, it is weak, powerless, terrible, or it's useless. It's not like that. <laughs> it is so not like that. And sometimes people say if a planet is in 28, 29 or 29.9 or 30 degrees, then uh, near to those ending degrees of 30, you know, the last three, four degrees, then they say it's, it's you know, uh, Vridha. The early they say Balya or Omara Shishu, whatever they say. But it, it does not mean that if a planet is in 20 degrees, you know, it, it, it is old, it is powerless, it is useless, it will destroy you like that. It is not like that. For God's sake, don't think like that. Now, what does it mean to say that a planet is in a particular degree? Okay. Every degree is important. Why? Because depending on that degree, it will be decided in which divisional chart, in which uh, divisional chart like for example D9 or D10 or D60 Sastiamsa chart where it will be sitting so if you do not know the degrees of the planets then you do not know in which area of life how is the planet going to behave so for example if your planet is in a particular degree and uh, suppose it's Saturn and uh, Saturn is in a particular degree in a particular sign and then it goes to Libra Navamsha. Okay, so then in that same zodiac sign in the Lagna chart in D1, it may have a certain level of performance. But because now it is in that specific degree and because of which it is in exalted Uchcha Navamsha, because Saturn gets exalted in Libra, that because of that, this planet will perform exceptionally well when it comes to spiritual practices. Because Navamsha is the chart for spirituality and for those people who uh, have a God-centric life, it can also be used for married life. So therefore, the degrees are very important. The degrees will tell you uh, which area of your life you will be good at and which area of life you will have challenges regarding that planet. Okay. Now, another thing which people ask is, uh, suppose my planet is in zero degrees. Okay. Not Gandanta necessarily, but suppose it's in zero degree of any sign. You know, what does it mean? That, does it mean that you know, uh, the planet can't do anything or the planet will give me bad results or 
if my seventh lot is in zero degree, my husband or my wife will die or I will not get married or if my Venus is in zero degree. No, 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 no. It's not like that. The, the degrees have nothing to do with the, uh, I mean, not on a literal sense, you know, the physical manifestation of certain things that is controlled by the house, not by degrees. Okay. So suppose a planet is in the seventh house. Okay. So suppose, for example, Jupiter is in the seventh house for somebody and you are between the age of 25 and 30 and you are running the uh, Dasha of the seventh Lord and then the Antar Dasha of Jupiter comes. Mahadasha of seventh Lord, Antar Dasha of Jupiter. Even if Jupiter is sitting in zero degrees, but if it is in the seventh house, according to the Bhav Chalit chart, not the Rashi chart, okay, Bhav Chalit chart, then Jupiter can get you married. And just because it is in zero degrees, it doesn't mean that your partner will be bad or, you know, the partner will be bad looking or the partner will you know, not have resources or the partner will be a liar, cheater or a crook. Not like that. It is, it is not like that. So then what does it mean to say that a planet is in zero degrees, all right, or zero, one or two, three degrees, the initial degrees. So imagine yourself that you have experienced a particular area in your life and now you are ready to move on to the other area of your life okay then what happens when you are initially just entering a new phase or a new field in your life there's a lot of enthusiasm and there's a lot of interest you feel that there are so many things which i can do in this area it is the same when it comes to degree of planets so that means whenever a planet is in zero degree, you will always see, I have seen at least in my limited experience. So suppose somebody's uh, fourth Lord is in zero degree. Then I have seen that when you talk to these people about career, uh, sorry, not career, education possibilities, then they can feel that they want to learn too many new things. Okay. Now that can be good at times. That can also be bad. If the whole chart is very harmonious then the person can learn so many things from different directions and that helps the chart very much but suppose the chart is very weak and you know the planets are very badly afflicted there are curses in the, in the chart then and there is no determination self-worth you know all these things if they are missing in the chart then the person can keep learning too many things and still learn nothing it's like saying you know the jack of all trades master of none something like that you can say so therefore um, but now suppose a planet is in uh, 30 degrees uh, sorry not 30 suppose it's in 27 28 or 29 okay so what does this mean it means that you are almost on the verge of completion in a particular zodiac sign now that does not mean that you you are not interested about that house Okay, so imagine a person who is about to retire after one year or after two years or after three months or after one day. So does it mean that that day he will not go to office or he will not uh, sign the uh, papers or the documents or anything else regarding his work? No, he will do the work perfectly that day. Now, this also does not mean, suppose if your seventh lord is in 29 degrees, this also does not mean that you uh, you will have the best spouse in the world okay it doesn't mean that what does it mean if you have a planet in 28 29 degrees it means that because you have experienced such high levels of emotion and uh, uh, what you say now, awareness within that sign because of that what happens is your acceptance increases regarding the traits of that planet all right so as i said if you have jupiter in the seventh in 29 degrees then what could happen is you could have a relatively uh, more level of maturity you know in accepting that uh, the partner may not be up to your standards or the partner the partner may not be the best you know but that does not mean that he will end up with uh, somebody who is not uh, very good or not worthy of you but you will have that acceptance if the partner is good it's great if the partner is not good still you are fine with that you will not 
you will not have the tendency to you know go around you know changing uh, people because you 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 know that okay in my karma if this person is there and I, I i am married so now i have to stay with this person do i just because you know i don't like this person you know i i cannot just uh, go and start having an affair with somebody else that is not uh, permitted by the scriptures that's not even recommended then in that case our life becomes like our dogs in the streets who just go around hanging with any other uh, anybody and everybody else all right so therefore the degrees are very important because and now sometimes people think that if a planet is in mid degree you know it's like 15 degrees then a planet is very powerful the planet is like yes i am in you know you are or any that kind of avastha well it doesn't mean that <laughs> no when a planet is in 15 degrees what does it mean it means you have two things you have come half the way you have seen certain things and you have a certain goal in mind so you can, you are very enthusiastic in using your experience to get something better in life okay but that does not mean you will get a better better thing or a better person so similarly jupiter is in the 7th house you know in 15 degrees it doesn't mean that you will get married to the best you know ideal quote and quote spouse but your tendency will be like that okay so therefore we have to know what the degrees mean and then we have to check the divisional charts in saptamsha navamsha you know dasamsha what does this planet do okay so therefore the degrees of a planet is very crucial and we should not ignore the degrees and many times we have conjunctions okay when we have conjunctions uh, generally they say that the planet which is hold, holding the least degree is the most powerful why do they say that because imagine a person is there uh, in a company from last you know 20 years okay now that person is very strong and uh, maybe he is uh, having lot of name and fame and you know lot of uh, power and authority maybe but now imagine there's a youngster who comes in youngster is just you know 18 or 20 you know he comes into the office and he's like yes so now imagine this 20 year old man is sitting in the office and then this youngster comes in you know for an internship for 18 years maybe no, not 18 around 21 i would say so then now how 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 will you see the dynamics of these two personalities okay the youngster will have more power to adapt to the circumstances which comes within the organization within the company but the person who is there from 20 years it will be very difficult for him to adapt to new things because he has been sitting there from last 20 years now he has a strength which this youngster cannot have because he has 20 year maturity 20 years of experience but when it comes to the field of action you know and because see what the thing is the planetary results come on the basis of dashar so life is very dynamic so on that context if you say the youngster has more possibility to explore new things and adapt new things and learn new things okay so now this does not mean that the person who is sitting from 20 years he is useless he is good for nothing he is just wasting time there it doesn't mean that he is also strong in his own way and this person is also strong but who will adapt to that zodiac sign more that is the one who is in the least degree because he is very much enthusiastic about that sign he is very much eager about that sign he wants to know what is there in this sign you know jupiter is in aquarius jupiter wants to know what is in aquarius jupiter wants to know every bit you know seventh house maybe leo lagna you are <laughs> so guru is very interested to know every bit of aquarius when ex exploring the seventh house all right so therefore he is more powerful if he is at zero degrees then uh, another planet maybe uh, if mars is there you know in aquarius seventh house for leo lagna in 25 degrees all right so then he will be more powerful in that sense but that does not mean mars is useless and that also does not mean that jupiter will go and defeat mars you know that is another uh, stupid thing which people think that you know oh, a planet in the least degree will go and defeat the uh, planet which is in the higher degree so it's not like a competition like like these days you know it's not like that it's not the way you think 
So now if you have two planets in the same sign or two or three or four or five or more planets, then uh, what you can do is whenever it comes to learning new things, seeking new things, you can always take help of the planet which is in the initial degrees, in the least degree. And whenever it comes to making uh, a decision, you can take help of the uh, planet which is in the uh, last degrees of the sign. Okay. So let, let's take an example. If for uh, if suppose you have sun and moon conjunct in the seventh house, so now both of them can give you marriage. Okay. So in this case, it can happen that the father is more enthusiastic to some search somebody for you, and the mother is more uh, inquisitive to you know make you settle down somehow. Okay, with uh, with uh, with some person at least. But the father is more enthusiastic to search a better spouse for you. So in that case, you can let the father search because he's more enthusiastic, he's more eager, he's more aware, he's more active, okay? And then when it comes, so if your father says, you know, the, the, I have found, uh, suppose you are a boy and, you know, there are five girls your father has seen, then you uh, go and meet the girls and then you take the help of your mother. Then because your moon is at the last degree, you know, 29 degree maybe, then your mother can give you the right guidance that look your father has searched these girls but i think she will be better for you she is the best for you i think all right so that is why don't insult the planets which are at the highest degree and don't think that the lower degree planets will go and fight with them all right it doesn't work like that so use the degrees properly and these are very crucial so i always look at the degrees uh, when I do conjunctions, uh, sorry, consultations and for conjunctions, especially, right? And uh, therefore, degrees are very crucial because the divisional charts are also decided on the basis of the degrees, all right? So that's very crucial for us to analyze the degrees and check, check which planets are in 15 degrees ahead or behind of every planet, okay? Even the house may be different, okay? So, for example, if your Venus is in Libra in, you know, two degrees, you know, then you should check, you know, that uh, from 17 degree Virgo you know, to 19 degree Libra, that those 30 degrees, you know, around, which are the planets that are, uh, you know, uh, they are staying there, you know? which are the planets, because they will have the power to influence Venus, at least I have seen 30, 30, 35 degrees on uh, the total range, you know, so it's like 15, 16 from the front and 15, 16 from the back, right? So that's how you see actually how to learn the degrees and therefore it's a very essential concept and I will make more videos on it. So thank you very much for your patience and as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, you can always go down to the description section of my videos to find the website. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.